Hey there YouTubers. All right, so I am back in Virginia, like I've said in probably the last 10 videos, but uh, those of you that follow the channel only for the Dell Inspiron 3670, we're going to do something I wanted to do for a very long time. And hopefully you can hear this over the i9 next to it that's cranking away at the moment on some video editing for me. But uh, I've got this device, uh, Aim Tom 540 watt hour solar battery basically um we've got the computer plugged into it in a moment i'm going to turn it on and we're going to try and do uh user benchmark benchmark with this uh hooked up so i'm almost baselining this but or i was going to baseline this with no graphics card in it so you can see what the numbers are but instead since there's a graphics card in there already we're just going to roll with it so uh right now zero watts being used um, obviously something's powering the LED, but what is being used in these two outlets is zero. So, uh, on the front, we've just got a keyboard and mouse hooked into it. On the back of the computer, uh, you can see the connections. HDMI, which is hooked up to this, uh, 4K TV here. I got the Ethernet. And then there is the graphics card, a GTX, uh, 750 all right so this is uh one that doesn't have a six pin connector it gets all its power from the pci express um, slot so up to 75 watts and uh i'm doing this video uh just to kind of kind of show you guys what the power usage is and what you would expect so use your benchmark you know as well as uh some of the other ones will tax the uh, cpu uh to its highest in different places the graphics card so we should get a good idea of uh, what the wattage use is. Now, real life scenarios, there may be situations where the wattage is higher than what you'll see here. Uh, however, if we have enough of a buffer between what I have here and 290 watts, uh, it should prove hopefully to all of you that adding a graphics card that does not have um, six pin connectors is gonna work with this, okay? Because I know a lot of you are kind of fearful of that, so giving you a little proof uh, might, you know, subside some of those things. So what else do I have for a future video? Um, we're going to pull out the PNY XLR8 GTX 1650 and run this all over again. All right. So, you know, it's funny. I was in Hawaii and uh, people kind of complain of some of the camera angles. I'm like, oh, when I get home, I'll have my, all my camera mounts, blah, blah, blah. And I'm still holding the, the camera with a hand. So apologies for that. All right, let's get this going. I want to leave this at an angle where you guys can see everything, okay? So here's me hitting the power button. And you'll see the wattage is obviously going to increase. 41. Eventually we'll see something on the screen here. 46 watts. 48. 61. And log in. I'm going to, well, so right now we're at 112. And we're probably going to back off a moment. All right, so I'm going to pause this, log in, and then we'll get uh, CPU user benchmark loaded up. All right, so let me just show you a couple things. We'll play a video. Right now we're kind of stabilizing. And if you've watched any of the gaming videos, a lot of times you'll see the CPU um, doesn't hit, you know, the value that they, they say for the, the TDP. Um Sometimes they go way over it, depending on your setup. But uh, so right now, obviously, with a graphics card and the CPU, uh, they're both, you know, cruising along. So let's go ahead and run a video, see what this uh, bumps up to. So this is one of my openings. Pretty cool, huh? I did that all myself, folks. Um, oh, back to what we're here for. So it, it bumped up a little bit. Nothing big. 65 barely you know barely using any extra wattage um now uh i would try and play fortnite on here but it would have to be uh updated i haven't touched this computer in six months and possibly user benchmark is going to be the same so let's back up so we can see this now i want you guys hopefully to see um 
I hope you guys can see this. Wattage is at 62, 78. So the CPU is going through and doing some stuff. If you can see what the screen says, it's testing the CPU right now. We made it up to 102, 113. And now this box, you know, supposedly can handle up to 540. Um, I might put a link down below in case you guys are interested in buying something like this. I, I actually love this thing. I completely missed it while I was in Hawaii. I use my uh, my solar panels, which I have one in the window. My wife hates that, but I use that solar panel to keep these things charged. And then I will power various devices with them, like a monitor or whatever. You know, over the course of a year, I might save a dollar. Maybe I save ten dollars. I don't know, but uh, it just feels like you know I'm I'm doing something better for the environment. So, all right, I saw 121. Is that the max so far, folks? Now we're doing graphics, okay? So. Whatever the CPU oh, ran out of film. Um, so whatever the CPU is doing plus 75 is basically probably what we're doing here. And you know it's it's barely low 100s. Which honestly, this is starting to make me wonder, folks. Um, if we had multiple SATA connectors in here, we could potentially get a six-pin connector and put a uh, better graphics card in here. Six pin uses, I think, 75 watts. Eight pin is 150. So when you have a PCI Express of up to 75 and a six pin, that's up to 150 watts. If you have an eight pin and the PCI Express, then uh, eight pin, that's uh, 225, right? So eight pin wouldn't work, but a six pin might just work, folks. All right, so in case you're wondering, um, this is actually terrible. This is barely, my i9 has better gaming score than this. We have the i5-9400F in here. Um, GTX 750, that was the score. So you can play back, uh, obviously, as you're watching the video, and hopefully I'll watch this again and figure out you know, what the max amount of wattage was used. I'll assume there's some error in there. Let's say it's at least 10%. So whatever the high is, I'm going to say plus minus 10%, and that probably is about what it is, okay? So, hey, thanks for checking out the video. I'll do this again with the GTX 1650, and eventually maybe we'll try uh, we'll try something else out. Maybe if I have the connectors, uh, I will try and put a different card in here that, that actually requires uh, uh, for me to use a 6-pin. Uh,